In this high-tech world we live in, all sorts of fancy scientific tools that help us predict the weather. But we really shouldn't ignore what Mother Nature's clues may give us. It's our favorite time of year. Time for the Wooly Worm forecast. Judy Frazier is here to get us ready for the season ahead. Welcome back. It's our favorite oh, show of the year. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, I enjoy this so much. It just, I think the Wooly Worm has become such an endearment to people and and to me and so it's just kind of fun to, yeah. to talk about it That's and people about. people have been wondering when is judy coming and now <laughs> it's today it's today the worm has spoken the, the only bad news is that when you show up we also know that winter is right around the corner yes. well, that is true that but is we true. had lots of people helping out again this year i'm sure you couldn't oh do what you gosh. do without their uh, assistance i couldn't i mean years ago when i was working here of course i could ask people to bring them in and we'd take pictures of them as they roamed across the studio <laughs> but you know I can't do that anymore so I have to rely on all of you folks out there and they've yeah. been so wonderful taking pictures I, I put out the report and they're out there with their cameras in the road <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Taking pictures of our woolly worms. And we've got a little ticker going down yes. at the bottom with all of the people who have um, contributed to this woolly worm report. Right. But let's talk what a woolly worm is because there's a difference between a woolly worm and a caterpillar. Well, no? Uh, yes. Okay. Actually, uh, they're both kind of the same. A woolly worm is kind of a caterpillar, but more of a moth. It turns into a, a tiger moth in Ooh, the spring. Okay. But it's a, um, it's a worm. And uh, although it doesn't exactly look like a worm or what we expect, but it's it's got, uh, you know, I don't know. I always bring my little guy along. As I recall, last year, uh, this little guy was <laughs> struggling. <laughs> yes, he was. He's <laughs> lost perhaps, uh, they have three sets of legs, and he's lost probably two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. It's Poor right. little guy. But uh, he's, I always take him. He's my Camargo woolly worm. They're and, doing that festival again, right. I noticed. And somebody gave this to me many, many years ago, and it's probably 25 years old. <laughs> so, well, maybe not quite that old. But, uh, <laughs> For those who haven't heard this whole thing before, they're like, what? And where right. did this come from? How did this whole phenomenon start? Well, it, it's old as the hills, and that's where it came from. <laughs> uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains, it's kind of folklore, a little bit of folklore, fact, fiction, you know, uh, over the years. But, uh, of course, in those days, they didn't have technology like we have today. So the early Americans, Native Americans, taught the early settlers um, how to look at the behavior of animals looking at squirrels and persimmon seeds and birds and so forth to give us an indication of what, what the weather's going to be like. And have uh, we seen any persimmon seeds oh, yes, this year? Oh, yes, we have. Uh, and what I, are they, oh, I guess, can we say what they're saying yet? Are, are persimmons well, different than the woolly I, worms? I don't want to give anything away. Well, yes, the persimmon seeds also indicate uh, what, what the winter's going to be like, and, and I don't know. We're going to show a picture of them. Oh, of the persimmon? Okay. Of okay. the persimmon, so maybe... There, here it comes. It yeah, looks like a spoon. Spoons. The legend of the persimmon seed is oh, if you open one. them up, you either see a knife, a fork, or a spoon. Um, well, forks usually indicate a mild winter. Uh, knives, an icy, biting, cold winter. And a spoon represents shovel. Shovel. Oh. And, uh, oh, and you yeah. said we saw spoons <laughs> there, huh? We did see spoons. All right. Kids like are it. probably excited about that one. Parents, <laughs> yes. not so much. Kids, well, and, yeah. and a chance to make some money for kids, too. Not only you're off of school, but yes. you can uh, be a little industrious and but go shovel other people's driveway. interesting this year, the squirrels are also an indicator of the winter. And uh, when they appear... Um, and they're, they're destroying my flower garden, uh -oh. my urns. Oh. They are burying. Every day I go out with little piles of, of seeds and nuts and all the things that they're storing. That's also an indicator oh, of what the winter is no. going to be like. So now we're going to have to <laughs> see if everything lines up from what everything the woolly worms say up. to what yes. the squirrels and the persimmons apparently exactly. are telling. But we're really focusing on the, on the woolly worms' coats. Okay, so you, you want to know about the coat? Yeah, let's do worm? it. It has 13 segments. It's only two inches long. Long. This is obviously a characterization, but the woolly worm is two inches long, but it's a remarkable little critter. It has 13 segments, each representing the 13 weeks of winter. And when I look at a woolly worm, I base it on the color. The darker the color, the harsher the winter. Uh, the lighter the color, the more mild is the winter. It's got tiny little eyes, can't see very well. Uh, so the direction in which they're moving are, is important. If they're moving north, 
or south. Mm. They're moving south. They're like the snowbirds. I want out of here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, you saved the rest of it because okay. we've got we're we're making you stick around for a little bit, and okay. we'll talk a little bit more about the coats and what that all means. Alrighty. Um, and she is here, like I mentioned, all hour, and we're gonna be sharing some viewer photos coming up. All right, who's ready to find out what winter has in store for us this year? <laughs> Judy Frazier is here. She's going to tell us she has the woolly worm forecast. And we sort of got interrupted, had to end the segment before, where we were talking about the segments of the woolly worm. Right. Uh, start sort of with what you're looking for with these pictures that have come through and what they mean. Okay, well, the, the worm, obviously, uh, as I told you, is kind of remarkable. It has these 13 segments, uh, each representing uh, a week of winter. And each of those, uh, the, the color of the worm is the most important. If it's dark... Uh, obviously, that's a harsh winter. If it's lighter, orange, tan, that kind of thing, it's a milder winter. And of course, uh, then you have the white woolly worms, which is an indicator different than its cousins uh, of snow. So that's kind of what I look at for is the coat of the woolly worm. Sometimes you'll have some mild, the first four weeks of winter, maybe light brown. Um, that means it's going to be a mild start, but the basis or the bulk of it would be black. That would mean a harsher winter. So early winter is closest to the head, and then we work our way That's toward right. the tail? Okay. That's when right. you're getting these pictures in, how do you know which end's the head? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to look for the teeny little eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which is difficult, but yeah. it, the end looks like the front. It, there's not much difference. Exactly. But you've been doing this a long time, so long you've probably time. got it all figured You're out. You're the worm expert. Here's yeah. some of these pictures. Now, this one has some pokey things coming off Yeah, of the it. spiky things. Um, you know, you think of a woolly worm, they look like they're soft little fuzzy guys, but they're not. They're bristly. Ooh. Um, and then sometimes you have spikes, which indicates a real icy winter. Uh, this one is pretty bushy, and that, uh, you know, that's also an indicator. And pretty dark. And pretty dark. All right. Because uh, the bushier they are, the more, like, coating yeah, they would need coating. to, like, they stay warm. To stay warm in the winter. This was a little lighter one. We had um, a, my first... Um, opportunity to see a woolly worm was in July. I and saw it that. Was a yellowish white and people have told me that um, they saw zillions of woolly worms early like August, September. But now there's they're kind of sparse. There's n there's not hmm. a lot of woolly worms. Does that mean they're getting ready earlier? Does that, that is there some meaning to this? That means they're preparing themselves uh, ahead of time. Judy, I don't like where this <laughs> is know, headed. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what's happening, is. but I'm not a fan of this. Now there's like where it is where it's dark on the end right, and lighter and, in the middle. And lighter in the middle, which would usually indicate some milder part or the bulk of the winter would be mild hmm. um, but there weren't a lot of those oh i like those um, though but they, <laughs> those were nice and, and we've had them in the past i've been doing this for 30 some years and i've seen all different colors and kinds of, of worms and so i just kind of look for the predominant color uh, from the most counties that we look for. Kind of taking an average of everything? Get, get an average yeah. of, of uh, that. And so it, it's, it was very interesting. I'm always so grateful for the folks who not only call in their reports or email. Or hey, there's my Judy. There's, oh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, look at see, that. I was a woolly wrangler too. Now, is that there. light right. color or is that white? That's anything in the real light colors would be considered in the white category. White, so the, the snow category. Yeah, the snow. Thanks a lot, Heather. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's re refresh everyone on last year's forecast because okay. some people question, you know, why do we even care what yeah. these woolly worms have to say? They, they pretty much had it well, last year. You know, year. they're not meteorological 100% at it's all. It's fun. But it's fun, and generally speaking, by gosh, those little critters are 80% right, generally speaking. I mean, I, I'm not going to give you a those are good week odds. by sure. week, but that's not, not too bad. Okay, so there is some merit to I'm going to tell you last year's forecast. Okay. Okay, it was an equal opportunity winter. Right. Mild at the start, but frequent and serious cold shots late. Keep those shovels handy, but not a big year for snow. That's right. Were we we and were pretty spot pretty, on. We had the polar vortex, which I'm sure people will not forget, uh, late January and February, which were really, really cold. Yes. So that kind of, I said, bursts of this cold air. And we didn't have a lot of snow. I don't think we even got up to normal amounts of snow. We get these little little two inches or three inches, but there was no blizzardy kind of weather or not a tremendous a lot of snow. We did have some ice because of the cold 
uh, you know, the cold air. But um, so it was, I, I think uh, there, it's pretty it accurate. Has some merit. Well, worms. we've built this up, and uh, in just a couple <laughs> minutes, you are prepared now to tell us what these <laughs> averages mean and either That's excite right. us all or disappoint us all. I did want to tell you the squirrels that I told you were very active. They've destroyed a lot of my pumpkins yes. and stuff. I found this in, in some of my research. It says, when squirrels early start to hoard, winter will pierce us like a sword. Oh, Judy. This has been nonstop <laughs> bad news. <laughs> Although we love when she comes. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you, Judy. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> we have stretched this out all we have. hour. <laughs> And we've had a lot of hints of, <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So are you ready to give us the nitty-gritty? I'm ready to give you the nitty-gritty. Okay. Uh, winter forecast according to the worm. <laughs> dun da da dun But first, we'll give you the percentages. We haven't done that. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Um, so the percentages of woolly worms that were reported by all of my wranglers out there. Well, let's take a look. Looks like we had 10% brown, uh, orange, or beige. We had 8%. Uh, Oh, Ooh, it's dropped. Oh, my. Uh, yeah, the 8% of the brown, orange, and the light yellow. Okay. Which is the, the milder the side mild. of things. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, that's only 8%. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> then we had 12% of the white woolly worms, which is uh, an indicator of snow. Okay. Uh, that seems higher than previous years. Well, it's not huge. I mean, I've had 20% white oh. woolly worms. Mm. So this okay. is kind of in between. And then we have... 80% of, of black, of dark the black Judy. woolly, bushy. You're killing me. <laughs> now don't, now I'm just the messenger. Yeah, That's I know. Right. I'm not, just gives this us is the, the word of the world. I'm not upset with you, per se. <laughs> but <laughs> right. <laughs> and it sounds like the squirrels and the persimmons both line up with yes, this. Yes, they do. So, um, so I think we've got the actual forecast now coming up. Oh, okay. there it is behind us. And there Get. it is. According to the worm, get out your woolies. Get out your woolies. It's going to be a cold, cold winter with some Arctic blasts included. Oh. And we are going to get snow. It's not going to be a trailblazer year for snow, but uh, we certainly are expecting moderate, um, slightly above uh, the norm uh, snow at times, which will make children happy, and Santa yes. Claus will be able to get here on his sled. So yes. Yeah. But I would, um, you know, for Christmas, uh, mittens, <laughs> parkas, woolly hats. <laughs> oh, I don't all like right. that Arctic blast. So, no, but... Arctic blast. Or all the snow, quite frankly. But what are you going to do? The woolly worm has spoken. Yeah, the woolly worms were going south, which is like the snowbirds. We get out of yeah. here. Right. And so all those indicators uh, are kind of uh, pointing towards a very yeah. cold cold winter. So well, get out your woolies. The, despite the terrible news, <laughs> this is always one of our favorite shows every year. So thank oh, you for coming thank back. Thank you. And, I, I absolutely love it. It's just been a pleasure to be here. And the nice thing is I get to see all the people I work with. Yes. Right. And, uh, just to say hello and to share my woolly worms with them. And well, with you at home. Yes, everybody in Central oh. loves when you come. Oh, as do well, we. I'm love back you. next year with better news. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's right. Hey, all of Judy's report, her um, in fact, and pictures will all be on CILiving.tv.